In this video, I will cover creating a scissor truss. Trusses in Chief Architect follow the envelope of the roof and ceiling. Once you have the shape of these two items, the trusses will follow that geometry. With this sample, I will remove the flat ceiling, manually draw a vaulted ceiling, and then generate the trusses. The first step, to remove the ceiling, I'll double click inside the room. On the structure panel, partway down, I'll come in and remove the check mark for the flat ceiling over this room. Custom ceiling planes can be found underneath of the roof tool. I'm going to use the ceiling plane tool. On the inside of the wall, I'll left click and hold the mouse button down as I drag to the opposite side of the room and then release the left button. I'll then move the mouse up slope toward the middle of the room and left click when I'm in the center to place the first ceiling plane. I'll repeat the process. Click on the inside of the wall, left click to the other side, release the mouse, go up slope and click. I now want to open up both of these ceiling planes. Since I'm already in ceiling plane mode, I'm just going to come off to the side, hold my shift key down, click and drag around the ceiling planes. This allows me to use the open button to adjust the ceiling planes. I'm going to come into the pitch, which is using the default for the roof. I'm going to change it to 4 and 12. I'm then going to lock the ceiling. The roof was generated using the truss option. I want to make sure the inside wall height, which is this elevation right in here, I want it to be exactly the same as the flat ceiling. Notice that the flat ceiling, the top of plate, is 121 and an eighth. That's the same value if you double click inside the room and you look at the room structure where we remove the flat ceiling. I'm going to take the inside wall height and make it exactly the same at 121 and an eighth. And the reason it's slightly different is again because I built the roof using the truss option. With the custom ceiling plane set at the right elevation and the right pitch, all I need to do is now draw a truss or regenerate those existing trusses. Underneath the framing tool for roofs, I'm going to come in, click and drag a truss. For this new truss that was drawn, I'll use the back clip cross section camera, cut a section right through the truss, and you can see the scissor truss follows the envelope of both the ceiling and the roof. If you already have existing trusses in place, return back to the floor plan view, select the roof truss tool, hold your shift key down, click and drag around those trusses. You can either use the tool to rebuild the framing for selected objects. You can also use the open button, come into the truss underneath options, use the force rebuild, and it will then regenerate your trusses. And we take a perspective full framing overview, and then we zoom into the model. You can see that we've created the scissor trusses for the project. That wraps up this video on creating scissor trusses. To learn more, please see our other videos or the built-in help file. Thanks for watching.